ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Yes, up the humbugs. We are back with House to Town on Football Manager 24. Now, we managed them previously in, I think it was FM, maybe 21 or 20. Could be earlier. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's on my YouTube channel somewhere, so you can go ahead and, and try and find it. But we are using a uh, lower league database which has just been released thank you to dan who does all these databases every year um i'll add a link to his twitter in the video description below so make sure you go and give him a follow and uh, and give his database a go there's so many different teams you can manage it's perfect for doing a kind of like parked premier league save if that's something that you're interested in we did something like that with Housestead on a previous edition of football manager i thoroughly enjoyed it i think we um we kind of fell in love with the team a little bit we uh i think we got back-to-back -back promotions pretty quickly as you do with most lower league saves on fm um I, i'm interested to see how it works this year if it's going to be very similar more often than not the first sort of three or four seasons you can get by just signing players just signing someone decent um to carry your team through the uh through the lower leagues and then once you get to a certain point that's when it starts getting more difficult and we did hit that with house to town i think we survived relegate uh, a relegation scare we ended up getting promoted and then we kind of got stuck in the same division for about four or five seasons um it, it was quite a realistic save to be completely honest and that's something i'm hoping that we kind of achieve here on fm24 now i'm not gonna lie i i've not played as much football manager as i would have liked um I, I think a reason for that being uh, it's not it's not bad by any means i think it's a good it's a good game um i like some of the things they've done of course it's kind of like the last one on this game engine before it changes massively um but i've also been playing other games i as you know i was on and off streaming um and work just was mental so we weren't able to do that consistently so that's why i kind of now um been thinking why not try and get a few youtube videos up you know just do it for fun I, I enjoy doing this sort of thing i like sharing my progress with certain games with you guys and i know there's there's like a, a group of us that you know kind of like to keep up with what i'm doing so we're gonna go ahead and and bring this back basically and see how it goes so we're going with house to town now uh i apologize first of all because i'm currently ill i've been off work all week with uh, quite a nasty flu you can probably hear it on me um i'm hoping i don't have any coughing fits during this video if i do very sorry um it's not been nice but i'm excited to get this started um so i think the first thing we're going to do in this video is it's very much a setup video we're going to go through the team see who we've got um we're going to look at the history of housestead how the league works kind of what our aims of are for the uh the, the initial season um and do you know what? i hope you enjoy it. if you're happy and excited for this uh season season series to come back and you were around for the last one drop a like it helps me massively um and let me know in the comments what you're expecting from this what kind of direction you want me to go um and also let me know do you like the kits how about that using kit basher fantastic tool again you can find it on fm scout along with with the english database um Kit Basher is a fantastic tool you can use to create your own football kits and it's very easy to import them into FM. I do it because it just adds a touch of realism um, for me. I like the fact that I can give my teams different sponsors and create like a, a fictional narrative. Right, I'm about to have a coughing fit so I'm going to pause and I'm going to see you for a little bit of history on Halstead Town. Of course I've got a lovely cup of tea here to help me. Um, oh gorgeous gorgeous i love a good cuppa right let's have a quick look at the history of Halstead town um they are a football club based in Halstead, which is in essex in england they are currently members of the essex senior league and they play at rosemary lane now the club was established in 1879 um since then they've had um you know success here and there um they the after world war ii the club added town to their name and joined the north essex league since then the leagues have you know they've been reshuffled they've been split basically the way the lower leagues work in england if you're not from england or don't know much about it once you get below sort of like league one league two vanarama then the leagues start getting split into regions 
Um, so like with the Vanarama, you have Vanarama North and South, and then once you get below that, they start getting split into regions and counties, and it's a, it's a whole mess. <laughs> but we're going to try and navigate it and get all the way to the Premier League, and uh, maybe maybe win a Champions League, maybe? We'll see. Uh, in 1980, House did join the Essex Senior League. Um, they finished as runners-up in its first season, earning promotion to the Premier Division, not the Premier League, no. Um, they've suffered relegations since then. Um, Honours, they've actually won the Essex Senior Trophy a couple of times. They've won the Eastern Counties League a couple of times as well. Um, not, I mean, you know, not too many trophies, but... I think we can uh, we we can change that and and bring some glory to the club. Um, oh, just seen there, two players died at Rosemary Lane in the fifties and sixties. Oof, Christ! Um, lovely stadium though, Rosemary Lane. A very nice name for the uh, for the stadium. Right, let's get on and have a look at, at how the club's doing on FM, how the finances are, how the squad is looking. Well, first of all, we'll look at the um, club vision. They're looking for us to work within the wage budget. Um, quite commonly with clubs at this level, finance is massive. Any money we can potentially save or earn is huge for the club. Uh, they want us, for this season, they want us to try and finish in the top half, be competitive in the FA Cup, be competitive in the uh, FA Vars, reach the latter stages of the Memorial Trophy and reach the latter stages of the Errington Challenge Cup. So plenty of little tournaments for us to play in. Um, what we'll do when we get into those tournaments, we'll probably have a look at the ruling. We'll look at what the, the prize money is, um, seeing how much each one benefits us, maybe prioritise the ones where we can earn the most money. Um, as you can see, the five-year plan is basically to just maintain a top half finish in the league. Um, let's have a look at the finances. Okay, okay. I mean, it's we, you know, we've got money. We've got, uh, you know, grand and a half. I'll take that. It's not too bad. Um, income. Yeah, it's not going to be much. Uh, projection. Oh dear, oh, that doesn't look good, does it? That doesn't look good. So does that mean by the end of this season they're predicting us to be nearly thirty thousand over our budget? not great it's not great okay so here is the squad very small it's a compact squad um a couple of names i kind of recognize from playing this save however many years ago um jack cherry in goal i do remember that name um he's still there of course jordan pavitt i believe he's captain um still at the club as well i remember him being quite good he is 31 now though, so um, yeah, I'm not sure how that's go how he's going to be now. I'm sure he can still do it. Now, something that we have to remember at this sort of level, you will encounter a lot of uh, older players. Um, so I, I don't know why my dogs have chosen now. I, I, I click record and my dogs choose now to be annoying. Go away. Go away. Okay, right. Anyway, um, unfortunately, I can... Oh, I can see bits and pieces about my um, my players, but I can't see a coach's summary because I have no staff. It's just me and the chairman. Um, that will change very quickly, though. Um, I'm not going <coughs> to... Excuse me. I'm not going to go and find staff myself. I've asked my chairman to do it. Um, that is not the manager's job, as far as I'm aware. I'm just trying to think. Are there anyone else, anyone else here that I recognise... Matthew Ballard, no, he's a regen, 14 head in, mm. Grant Watt, regen, 12 finishing, could be decent, got a lot of players here who have just been chucked in the game, Frankie Andrew, he looks real, Kokolakis, we have an Albanian playing for us, that's interesting, Duncan, He's Jamaican. All right. Lewis Busby. I, I think the majority of these... Okay, a couple of real players. The majority of these are um, are fake. So we'll see how they go. Uh, there's not much more I can do. Tactics-wise, 
I guess we can set this up now and then I'll try and get through all the admin nonsense maybe get some staff in um, so we can really see the rating of the squad um, I'm going to use my little notebook to try and figure out what I need moving forwards who we can try and sign um, if we can in fact what have we got budget wise zero pounds in the transfer budget I mean we don't need money we don't need a transfer budget at this level we need a wage budget and a scouting budget which is huge twenty and a half thousand we literally could cover Europe that's not necessary that that's just not necessary is it twenty and a half grand why are they scouting Europe who's gonna sign for them interesting right let's look at tactics okay so early doors I think I kind of want to build the team around Jordan Pavitt for now but the question is do I play him as a cam or do I play him as a striker I played him as a cam in my last save but he was younger and it now being older I think he's a bit better as a striker um so the question is do I go for I was thinking 4-4-2 just keep it simple or do I go one up top and play maybe like a like a 4-2-3-1 um oh, it's tricky it is tricky Do I play a 4-2-3-1? Or do I play like a 4-5-1 even and just bulk out that midfield? Hmm. Let's just... Uh, let's let's chuck this one on for now. Um, I've got no coaches. This is just brilliant. Right, so we Jack Cherry. Fullback will be... Let's get... Have it up top. Do I have a cam? Martin Dennis, right mid, or right wing rather, Melligan, left wing, Brooks, uh... okay that's not helpful, left back, Busby, centre back, Duncan, oh god, really, is that all we've got, wait hang on, under 21s, Ah, okay, so we might have to promote some of these guys, to be honest. General info. We've got Ecuadorian in there. Alright, so we need... Oh, bloody hell. Mm. I, I think we need a staff member. We, we, we need help because I, I can't be going through individually and seeing, oh yeah, he's got this and this. i tell you what, we'll leave it there. When I come back to you in episode two, we're going to hopefully have a better idea of what we've got, what we're working with, what we need. Uh, we might be promoting a few people from the 21s up to the senior team, um, under 18s. I mean, under 21s, there are quite a few 16-year-olds, which could be quite promising. Um, generally, not always, but generally, if they're very young in this age group, they're there because they're good enough. So let's see what happens when we get a coach in. Let's see what they say. I'll see you in episode two. I hope you're excited for this. I am very excited to get this started. Again, don't forget to subscribe. You'll get uh, a notification every time I upload a new episode of this. I'm hoping to upload other things as well. We might upload some Call of Duty, Fortnite, Apex, all of that kind of stuff. Maybe even try and do some real life videos as well. Um, I, I, thinking maybe trying to record a little bit of my golf um, as I literally start from scratch and, and and try and learn how to play so that could be quite interesting anyway if you've enjoyed leave a like leave a comment sub i'll see you in episode two of the humbugs